can be worn confidently overnight <laughs> and is perfect for traveling. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This oh. is Can You Find All Chair of Candy Canes? And it's on the stockings. <gasps> oh. There's, there's one on the calendar. <gasps> there's one right there. Oh, my goodness. How many have you guys found before Mommy and Daddy woke up? Nine. So, where was that one at? In by the cereal box. By the cereal box? It's funny. Be careful. On here. And a cow on the tree. And look what Oh, else. by where you turn on the tree cam? <laughs> got some blood over uh, there. Hey, one on the milk. One on the milk. One is on the milk? Wow. A green one. Let's count them. We can't touch this one because this one's touching Peter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten. Now, now. So we're missing two. No, oh yeah. So let's go and find them. What else do we do in the morning? We turn the lights on, the, the Christmas tree. We change the calendar. We get mommy coffee. Just we'll just have to keep our morning going no, to no, see no. where it, I don't know where it's at. We'll have to keep our morning going. No, I, where do we go after we eat? Mommy does what? After you guys eat, what does mommy do? Yeah, you do the dishes. I do the dishes? And you work out. And I work out, okay. Yeah, because I saw you. So if I do the dishes, what else do I do? You do get our clothes. I get your clothes, okay. And then what else? It's lunch! Sure. Oh, I got it. I can't keep going uh, the first go back. Sis got it, sis got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. There's another one! Sis found it! No, she found it! It went on the back! I didn't know that! <laughs> you are gonna love replaying this footage. I got gold, baby! Link, who is that? Yeah? Say Peter. Peter. Oh, he almost he almost touched Peter. He almost ruined Christmas. He almost ruined Christmas. I'm a mama bear. Do you want to be my papa bear? Boom! I've been waiting for this day for you. Why don't I get any? I'm bear papa. Your feet are on backwards. <laughs> Look at babe. Mama Bear and Papa Bear. Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. The morning has been rough. This little guy doesn't feel good on top of teething. So he's a very clingy, whiny mess. But I am going to make some pancakes. The kids actually already ate, but I'm hungry and so is Lewis, so Hi. I'm gonna make some pancakes. Lewis is meditating right now. I'm just like trying to hold down the fort. Hopefully he'll be done soon.
guys, this is the final product of the pancakes. It looks so yummy. Breakfast is served. I wanted to paint the table today, but it's raining outside. Pancakes for my love. Oh my word. All right guys, I got ready for the day. I feel so much better. We were watching old vlogs from a year ago and it's so crazy to look back and see how little the kids looked and how big they look now. It's absolutely insane. But I have to run to get Tatum's jersey because he has his first basketball game tonight at five o'clock. So I need to go do that and then probably pick up lunch or make lunch here. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, let's go. I'm waiting to leave until this vlog is done processing and uploaded, so four minutes. It is raining outside and it is cold and we are gonna go. Louis, I thought I was just gonna have Louis do it and I just had changed my mind, but I'm a little stressed just because some of the kids aren't listening today. Cassie, I mean, you haven't been me because I've been so nice. You have been so nice. So I brought Cassidy and the boys are cleaning the playroom in their room. They have just been fighting nonstop, the older boys, just at it. It's so crazy though because Cassidy doesn't really fight with the boys at all. It's always the two older boys going at it. Cause I see it all the time. Sometimes Tatum will pick on Camden, Camden will pick on Tatum. They're just always at each other. I remember when I was little though, I used to fight with my older sister, not my younger sister. We were four years apart with my younger, but my oldest and I, we were one year apart. We were 13 months apart. And I remember my mom saying, when you get older, you'll get along. Watch, you'll love each other when you get older. So that's what I'm dealing with right now and I just needed five minutes to myself, well with Cassidy, but with just one kid. Sometimes it's good to just get out of the house, even if it's for a drive, like right now, we're literally getting out, going to pick up a jersey. It's like probably five minutes away from the house, but it doesn't matter. And when I get home, I'll be a better mommy. Sometimes mommies just need five minutes to themselves just to breathe. Is it cold? So cold, it's raining so much. My cam camera's probably all fogged up. A few moments later. All right guys, that was a no-go. I guess you don't pick them up here, you pick them up at the actual PSA, which this is the PSA we signed up for, so I'm kind of confused. Good news is, the place we have to go to is like 15 minutes away, but we're going there for our first game today, so it works out. People are so impatient, I'm just trying to back out my big old car. Now we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A because I'm craving some Chick-fil-A sauce, not gonna lie. I'm gonna lie too. You're not gonna... She's gonna lie too. No, we're not gonna lie. Hey, Alright, let's go. I stopped at Chick-fil-A to get a spicy chicken sandwich and to be honest, it was my first time about two weeks ago having Chick-fil-A after not having it for about a year. We don't really get to eat Chick-fil-A because they don't have a lot of vegetarian options and I'm not gonna just go there for me. I have to, you know, appease the whole family. But guys, the cravings are real now. Trying to lose weight, not gain weight. I shouldn't have done it. We got our blue apron in the mail and I just wanted to show you guys what it came with this week. This is the vegetarian option. So sweet potato and jalapeno quesadillas, creamy saffron risotto, saffron, I don't know, however you say that, and cilantro miso noodles. They all look really, really good. Cassidy and Lincoln are putting trash bags back in the trash cans. And you guys see her hair? is finally getting long enough for us to just put a little bit up there. If yeah, not, before yeah, it was like sticking yeah. way too straight up, but now we're good. We were watching all the vlogs this morning and her hair looks so cute and I missed it so much and I was like thinking, oh, I wish she wouldn't have cut it and her bangs. She looks so cute when they're out of her face. Now she does look so cute with bangs. Now that her hair's getting long enough, we'll be able to style it like this and it'll just keep growing and keep growing and keep growing. So yeah, she's really excited that her bangs are growing and we're not gonna get her bangs cut again. We're just gonna start swooping them to the side. The problem is we had to get them cut last time because these hairs on the side that she had cut, because what she had done was pulled all the top and just snipped. And so it made her kind of look like she had a mullet because it went so far back. So last time we had to keep cutting her bangs just to keep them out of her eyes because the swoop didn't do anything, it did no justice. Now that the sides are getting longer again, we don't have to worry about if we swoop them or anything, but she's loving this new hairstyle. What are you guys doing? We're playing games. You're playing games? Ah! 
Do I you do best on that? Are you playing card games? Yeah, you get two cards. Oh, you got two cards? Yeah. Thank you. See, this is the side where Daddy, she had cut. So Daddy. finally, these are getting long enough where we can just let them go. Hopefully, they'll start growing. Louis had to go into the office for a couple hours, so he went there, and then he'll be back home around 3.30, and then we'll leave for Tatum's basketball game. Lincoln, I'm in the dig. Lincoln wants to dump it on me. I'm on here, I'm on Yesterday on Instagram, I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see us play in the playroom because typically I don't show this part just because I thought you guys would find it boring or just kind of repetitive. But we spend a lot of our time <laughs> up in the playroom because I let the kids just go wild and crazy in here and they can do really whatever they want unless they cannot jump on the furniture and they cannot run. Other than that, it's fine. It's fine kids. and just have some fun and be kids. Mm -hmm. Say hi. Hey. Say hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Say I'm just sitting in the couch watching movie and showing you guys my boob. Here's my face. Da, da, da. Two hours later and we're still in the playroom. This is the potty stool. What are you doing? Hey. Tatum. Do you remember when you were little, you used to say your name was Tatum Baca? Woohoo! Yeah! What? Yeah, look, he's doing it. Say Tatum Baca, woohoo! He did it! Tatum Baca, woohoo! Are you gonna dribble, dude? How are you gonna dribble? Show me how you dribble. Like that? How do you pass? How do you score? Whoa! Lincoln, say Tatum Baka, woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! If you guys are ever worried that your playroom is a mess and it never stays clean, what I like to do is before we go downstairs or leave the playroom, we always pick up together. And then that way, it's always clean. We always start it clean when we come back up here and I don't have to worry that we're gonna step on toys because I hate going from the stairs to the media room and the lights are off and I step on a Lego or a toy, it drives me crazy. So just a helpful hint, do it together as a team. I always like to say, kids, you wanna help me do it too? Like if I'm involved with it too, it gets them to pick up much faster. So kids, let's pick up. No. Yeah, we gotta go to baseball or. It's not baseball anymore. <laughs> I'm so used to baseball, babe. For three years, I'm used to baseball. Give me a break. Let's do this. Let's do this. trying to call my sister and wish her a happy birthday, but she obviously put me in a voicemail and then her message is, is full, and so I can't leave her one to say happy birthday, so I guess the text will do. I just wanna say happy birthday to my sister. Lindsay, you are the best thing that's ever happened to me besides my kids and my husband and my parents. You are amazing and I could not be where I am without you today. You are my best friend and I'm so lucky to have a sister like you, so I hope you have an amazing day. Happy birthday, Andy Lindsay. Happy birthday, Andy Lindsay. Happy birthday, Andy Lindsay. Say, I love you. I love you. Lincoln would 
say happy birthday to you, but he's sleeping. Lewis would say happy birthday to you, but he is not sleeping. He's working. Two hours later. Hey guys. Okay. Life's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I told him to crank it up a notch and he's all, life's okay. <laughs> Life's doing really okay right now, guys. Hi guys. Really, really okay. It's really Hi okay. <laughs> Part of life is wondering what's next. And guys, what's coming next is going to blow your minds. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know what's next, guys. She doesn't even know what's next. I do know that we don't have cactuses here in Texas. Cacti. Those look fake. Oh, they are fake. They're iron. Yeah, they're, they're the iron here. cactus. Yep. I guess when you're from Arizona and you're used to seeing cactus. It's a huaro. And then you see a cactus. It's a sojuaro. We're on the way to Tatum's baseball game and we have a kid asleep. Camden's out. Passed out. Cassidy's screaming. <laughs> That's just how she talks. I know, she just talks in a scream. It's so funny because we, we were watching vlogs from a, a year ago and she just talked in this little sweet voice and now Aww. she's like, hey guys. <laughs> she's just like her mama. It's like a perma scream. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Tatum, do you think you're ready to play basketball? Yeah. He's had one practice, so he's more than ready. <laughs> That's all you need. You only need one. You only need one practice, guys. Yeah. Dad got some Schlosky, so we were giving the kids some food, and now we'll go in there, he'll play his game, and hopefully he'll win. You got this, Tay? You gonna win? He's got it. When you shoot, what do you do? When you pass? When you dribble? <laughs> All right, we're going into the game. You ready, Tay? They're getting ready to start the game. You ready, Cam? Yes, I can hold your jacket. You ready to watch them? Yeah. Hi, Nick. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah. We're ready. Look at this kid. He's going. Get on the ball and get it. Tatum, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. You see Tay Tay? Where's Tay Tay? There he is. He's right over there. Yeah, Tay Tay. Yeah. Guys, put your hands up. Get the ball. Did you get him? Was he trying to sneak off? Oh. This is trying to keep three kids under control. I want one. I know. Tatum's basketball game. It was awesome. It was Tatum's first time ever playing basketball like man to man, a like game. team to team, like a game. He's always like shot it and thrown the ball, but he's never like had to like get it from someone or anything like that. So we definitely have things to work on, but for his first time, once the game started picking up, he really like got the concept of it. So definitely needs to practice with daddy because daddy used to play basketball all the time. Boop, boop. You could see the... <laughs> the basketball dad come out of me. He's like, Tatum, get the ball, Tatum, Tatum. And I was like, Lou, be quiet. You could tell him the whole game because he's always doing something. I'm like, you have to be quiet. She was getting embarrassed. With I was, I was like, oh my gosh. Not that I don't want him to tell Tatum what to do because obviously I do, she but. She doesn't want the other parents to hear that I'm telling him what to do. Cause he's like so intense. Just because he used to play basketball, he knows how, <laughs> he knows how the game I'd works. You're that dad. He was crazy, guys. No, I was, he doesn't know where to play. So I know, I know. You were trying. Yeah, and then Louis's like, man, I failed as a dad, and I'm like, no, you haven't. He was just taking it a little to heart, but Tatum did awesome. What did you think of it? Good. Eventually. All right, guys. So I just got home from the store. Lou, you can go up a little bit. So you know how I'm getting ready to start my time of the month. Mm -hmm. And they came out with this new thing. Called? A diva cup. Oh. Uh, I don't like the sound it's, of this. It's better than tampons for the environment. So you put this cup in you. Mm -hmm. And it catches all the blood. 
I wanted to get your natural reaction of what you think of this. And they have one, model one is for girls, ladies who are under 30. And then one for ones that are over 30. At least I have about nine more months before I have to buy the second model. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't think they anticipate having four kids by, by 30. Comfortable, clean, and easy to use. Leak-free protection up to 12 hours. 100% silicone. And you just stick that. And it has measuring. <laughs> it has, it has <laughs> measuring. It has like milliliters. <laughs> like you're like, oh, uh, how many does this vampire soup need? <laughs> like, what? What's the purpose of measuring? I'm going to try it. I start my period in... One to two days. Wow. Model one. Babe, for women under 30 years old who have never delivered vaginally, <laughs> disqualified, <laughs> goodbye. I didn't read that. We have never delivered vaginally or by C-section, so no mothers. Oh, I just read for 30 and I didn't continue. She's like, oh, <laughs> not, not applicable. I ain't 30. Oh, and the other one is for people that have had kids. Oh, God. You not, might not be catching a lot of blood. <laughs> they look the same. What would be the difference? Should I take it back and get the second model? Can be worn confidently overnight. <laughs> and it's perfect for traveling. You can go up to 10 miles on it. <laughs> I shouldn't joke about that kind of stuff, but what happens if it, if it spills? A milliliter down the drain. Why are they measuring it? <laughs> I don't know. They're like, are they trying to sell this afterwards? Like just put the seal on it and send it in. I don't know. But I don't have that. So yes, anymore. we're going to try so the Diva remember. Cup for a week and I'm going to... No, 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 no. We aren't trying <laughs> a Diva Cup. She's trying a diva cup, and I'm gonna be. Watching. I'm gonna try a diva Dude, cup for a week, and I am going to vlog what I think about it. I'm gonna give it an honest review, but I think I have to buy the right one. But I don't know if I can necessarily like return this diva cup. Can I return it? Yeah, it's not open. So guys, let me know down below. What it has pictures. <sighs> Fold option one. Yeah, you have to get it in there. Mine will probably just slide right That looks like a solo cup. I know. That you're squeezing. Into my vagina. I think I have to buy another one though. Well guys, it's late and we're getting ready to go to bed. And of course, Nicole's passed out in her usual spot. <laughs> She's tired. Anyway guys, we hope you had a great day. We hope you have a great night. And remember, it's, it's always, always today. today.